Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of K-Pop 101, a series in which I try to help you along on your journey of being a K-Pop fan. Hopefully. I was having a discussion recently with someone on my Tumblr, and they told me that when they became a fan of K-Pop, they weren't really familiar with what exactly a fandom was, and that never occurred to me until that conversation that there are people that don't know what a fandom is or like what it means. So I thought I would discuss that in this video and even put some fandom names at the end and if you guys want a series of videos about other fandom names as in other K-pop group name like their fandom's name, I'll totally do that. But um, I'm just gonna put like some of the more popular ones that I know specifically at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Word fandom is described as a term used to refer to a subculture composed of fans characterized by a feeling of empathy and camaraderie with others who share a common interest. Fandom can be based around movies, it can be based around books, it can be based around TV shows, music, but it's basically just it, the same meaning for everything. It's a group of fans who got together and just share the love of whatever that specific subject is. The term has been around since the 1900s, the very early 1900s, which I think is kind of cool because when you think of fandom, you think of, you know, those little teeny bopper girls who are just running around and being all crazy about something on the internet. But it's actually a term that has been around since before the internet, so that's something to think about. Being in a fandom is actually a really fun thing. You meet people and you make friends and you're just all kind of family who usually gets along really well <laughs> unless there's that one crazy one there's always that one crazy one it just takes things a bit too far <laughs> now i don't know if this is just specific to k-pop or not but when you're in a fandom your fandom is assigned a color and a name i know the name thing is not is not specifically k-pop because you know there's like believers and directioners and whatever all that stuff but sometimes the color thing is assigned by the management that the group is from. Sometimes it's decided by the fans. I'm pretty sure most of the time it's decided by the fans, but I could be wrong about that. In relation to the color situation, the fandom color situation, in K-pop, when a color is assigned to a group, they will have light sticks of the same color that the fans will buy and use them in the concerts or whenever. And if you're not sure what a light stick is, this is a light stick right here. I can't turn it on dead about five six years old so <laughs> this is not a k-pop light stick but i just wanted to show what it is in case you weren't sure exactly they can look different than this though sometimes they have a shape on the top like the group's logo or something but that's the basic representation of what a light stick is so in case you wanted a visual aid there's one for you the names are usually decided by the management because there are groups that have gone a very long time without an official name because their management never gave them one. There's been a couple of times when the fandoms got a little upset over the name that was picked for them, but they went along with it anyway. Sometimes fans go by their own name for their fandom. You know, they just hate the one that they, the management picked so much that they just go by their own. It's just, it's just a complicated situation. <laughs> I'm not really sure about the process of picking a name, like I don't know what the management companies do to put the names together, they probably hire somebody to do it, but I know that a good maybe 90% of groups have a fandom name. And if you can't find it, I will find it for you and I will put it in a video. <laughs> now on to fandom names. This is a very limited list. I myself am only a member of couple of fandoms in K-pop at the moment, so I'm gonna list the ones that I know. Oh, and also I can try to make a video describing what the fandom names mean, but I will have to do a lot of research on that because there are some that I'm not sure of. But I can totally make the video if somebody wants me to. And I'm open to do that. So here we go. EXO, my personal favorite. Their fandom name is XOL, and I actually know the meaning behind this one, but I'll just explain it right now. In EXO, there are two subunits, XOK and XOM, and to kind of join the two groups together, like, 
make it a big round family, kind of. SM decided to call EXO fans EXO-Ls. So, hey, L, M. Hmm? And I kind of joined them together. I'm also pretty sure that the L stands for love. I don't know. Could be wrong. BTS fans are called ARMIES. BAP's fans are called babies. I am also a baby. That sounds weird when you say it out loud. <laughs> One very popular group in K-pop is Big Bang, and their fandom name is VIP. Another super popular group in K-pop is Super Junior, and their fandom name is ELF, which stands for Everlasting Friend, and I think that's adorable. Shiny calls their fans Shea Walls, and I know there's a meaning behind that, and I did know it at one point, but I've forgotten it now, so excuse me. Sorry. Got seven. Cause they're friends. I got sevens. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm in all of these fandoms so far. <laughs> Some more than others. Monster X isn't very well known, I don't think, at the moment. But I included them again because I'm in their fandom. They call their fans Mon Bebes. Icon, which is a new group, calls their fans Iconics. That's all the the groups that I'm gonna list for now, uh, or else this video would be like a million hours long. Those are the groups that I know, and I like, and am a part of. I can do more in another video, as I said earlier. In my next video, if there's a certain group that you want to know the fandom name of, just let me know. I will include that if I can find it, because like I said, some groups don't have a name. Some are really hard to find for some reason. That's basically it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, let me know. I like making these K-pop 101 videos. They're interesting for me because it's something I can kind of talk about off the top of my head. But I also have to do some research and that's really fun for some reason. <laughs> I will see you in my next K-pop 101 video. Although I'm probably going to do a birthday haul slash like January favorites kind of thing because I got a lot of cool stuff in the month of January because it was my birthday. Um, and I wanted to show some of it off. Not like show it off, I'm not bragging. I don't brag, okay? I just thought I'd share some of it because it's really cool and I'm proud of it. I hope you're having a good day or night or the middle of the day or whatever it is where you live. I'm gonna go now because I've been talking for too long. Bye!